Good late Friday evening. I am certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this July 5th of 2019. Sure enough, the summer heat and humidity suck around for this Friday, our first Friday of the month of July. And that led to not only one, but two rounds of thunderstorms. First one actually started off this morning. Let me take you to the Skywatch Storm Tracker. At the start of the loop, you see the storms around Kansas City late last night and early this morning actually survived the night. And with the developing cold pool lot, that allows some momentum for them to finally move along. So they sank south into southwestern Missouri, staying east of US-69. So that was the first round of rainstorms we dealt with today. And once we got that out of the picture, we were quiet around lunchtime. Then this line of strong thunderstorms plowed on through with some gusty winds and plenty of heavy, if not torrential, rain. Thankfully, we're looking a lot better now in the Skywatch Storm Tracker. We're just seeing quiet conditions on the radar network as we approach the 11 o'clock hour late on this Friday night. I have been keeping an eye on some thunderstorms out in central and western parts of Kansas, but a quick loop of this radar shows most of these storms are seeking more south-southeast. So if anything, all of this is really going to skirt just to our southwest. So we'll thankfully look to stay quiet as we go throughout the course of the night and to start your Saturday out. Look at how much rain we picked up from both rounds of rain and storms today. We had in 1.2 inches area-wide average, according to radar estimates, with the big bullseye, mainly along 69 in southeast Kansas and northeast Oklahoma, and then eastward into southwestern Missouri, especially in Missouri, north of Interstate 44. It's also amazing what the rain did with temperatures for today. Yesterday, we were able to go into the uh, middle to upper 80s for our 4th of July. We dropped back near 70 this morning, but then as we were approaching 90 degrees during the 1 to 2 o'clock hour, those line of storms plowed through Joplin Regional, dropped us to 81 at 3 o'clock, and into the upper 60s by 4 o'clock. So within this amount of two hours, we saw almost a 20-degree drop in terms of temperatures in Joplin Regional. We'll see how the rest of the area fared with temperatures in a bit. Seventh and Ranch Line, though, looking quiet late on this Friday night at the top of the 11 o'clock hour. 89 for the official high at Joplin Regional today, a hair cooler than our average high of 90, and we started at 66 this morning. Look at the rain gauge at Joplin Regional, 1.15 inches for today. So certainly starting July off on a bit of a wet note across the area. 67 in Joplin with the humidity maxed out at 100%. A light north breeze at 5 miles per hour. So everybody is seeing temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70. So it's quite a turnaround from upper 80s to near 90 during the early afternoon. That was the warmest we could go for today because, again, those storms plowed through, dropping everybody behind that line into a, a quite a range of temperatures between the middle to upper 60s to about the lower to middle 70s. We primarily held in the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout much of the evening, and that's where we're starting the late night out. So we have high humidity. We have quite a bit of moisture, in the not only in the air, but trying to evaporate off of the soil. And we also have light breezes in place, not to mention some skies trying to clear out. That is going to contribute to some patchy, and possibly dense fog as we head into the overnight. In fact, the visibility tracker here already showing visibility is dropping to five miles in Joplin, four and a half in Nevada, four and a half in Parsons. So wherever you saw the bulk of the rain today, that's going to be the likely areas where we'll see some patchy fog as we get your Saturday morning started. At least we're quiet for the rest of the night in the Skywatch Storm Tracker. Again, watching those thunderstorms out west, at least I'll continue to do so throughout the course of the night, but not expecting any of that to make it here. Same goes for the storms out in eastern Colorado and parts of South Dakota and Nebraska. But all those storms have been firing up along the stationary front that will continue to edge closer to us as we head into your Saturday. And on top of that, we have the upper level still in play. We're still influenced by this upper level ridge that will allow us to get pretty warm, if not hot and humid for today. But since it's not particularly strong, the main corridor of the upper level winds, the jet stream proper, still skirting just near the area. So any disturbances running along the jet, that's also going to help contribute to thunderstorm chances. So we'll just repeat things over again for your Saturday, but at least a little bit differently. Here's what I mean. We're quiet for the rest of the night. Any thunderstorms out in central and western Kansas will stay away from us, if not completely fizzle apart by the time we hit sunrise. But for us, we'll have a quiet night, probably cloudy skies, but some of that will lead to some patchy fog. As the morning lows drop back, mainly into the upper 60s to near 70, we will stay quiet throughout the morning and into the afternoon, partly sunny skies and temperatures heating up again. We'll go back near 90. 
And once we hit the afternoon and into the evening, that is when we'll have our thunderstorm chances popping up once again. Should not be seeing anything severe, but like the past few days, any rain that we get can be quite heavy. So 69 to start your Saturday morning out, 85 by noon, and we'll have afternoon highs with a southwest breeze at 5 to 10, pushing us to about 90 degrees. If we do see any thunderstorms scattered as we go into Saturday afternoon and evening, I'll give them until about 11 o'clock Saturday night to about 1 to 2 a.m. Sunday morning. Then we'll be looking pretty calm to start your Sunday morning out. It'll be mild and muggy, but current indications are we'll be starting your Sunday morning off with a quiet note. But the same setup will remain in play for your Sunday. So we'll be pretty warm, if not hot and humid for Sunday with, again, chances for a random pop-up thunderstorm Sunday afternoon and evening. And as long as this upper level ridge keeps influencing our forecast, we'll stay hot and humid going into a good portion of the next week, along with these thunderstorm chances sticking with us. That will start to change, at least the thunderstorm chances. They'll start dropping up as we head into Wednesday and late next week as this upper ridge begins to strengthen and send the jet stream, the main quarter of the winds, off to the north. So any thunderstorms will stay close to the jet, any big-time thunderstorms at least. So with the strengthening ridge late next week, we're going to stay with the summer heat and humidity in play. But hopefully by next Wednesday and into next weekend, that is when the strengthening ridge, ridge rather should be dropping off our rain chances. So the seven-day forecast unfolds like this. Near 90, if not hitting 90 degrees for your Saturday and Sunday. Afternoon and evening thunderstorms possible. Hopefully we'll stay quiet for not only your Saturday morning, but Sunday morning too. We'll stay in the lower 90s, between 91 and 92 degrees pretty much, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thunderstorm chances still their highest, relatively speaking, tomorrow through Tuesday. Maybe a stray storm or two Wednesday with highs near 91, and hopefully Thursday will be dry and singles for Friday, partly to mostly sunny skies with highs in the upper 80s to near 90. Have a good night. Have a great Saturday.